Ava Shin. What's up, Ava? Hello, hi. Hello, <laughs> my favorite <Here>. brothers. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> happy new year. This is happy my first year, time new year to appear on your show. So, how are you doing? How is New Year yeah. treating you guys? We're blessed. We're blessed and blessed and highly favorite. And I have to tell you, um, you and em emotionally have to tell you that uh, we're coming up on a year, I think, of a family relationship with the new friend of state of China. And it's been worth it. It's been worth the whole year. You have taught us stuff that we never saw coming. You have exposed things. You have uncovered things. You have broken um, news. And uh, that's valuable information that can't, I, you can't put a dollar on it. You can't, uh, you can't dismiss it. Um, you can't ignore it. And I, I think I speak for all three of us. We, we really love the new federal state of China for being that beacon, beacon of information because that has only motivated and, and made us smarter where, you know, we, now I'm not saying we were the smartest people in the world because we're not, but you have made us smarter for what's going on um, with um, um, China, with the CCP, with Xi Jinping, uh, with their infiltration of what they're doing over here on a, on a local, federal, and well, local, state, and federal, uh, then buying up lands and stuff like that. But um, what do you, what does the new federal state of China have going moving forward into 2024? What do y'all, uh, what's the next step for y'all? Mm -hmm. Yes, I think um, it, although people are still kind of uh, uh, enjoying the celebration of many of Americans and many of people around the world, but I think people are feeling something is basically cooking the air. You know, as I was listening to a, a few minutes of what you said on air right before I came in, you were mentioned about New York. We already know what's happened on the on the very first day um, on New York. But if you look around the world, that, this is why I'm here today. I'm going to drop some intel that we just received at the New Year's Eve. Um, so the uh, we basically disclosed this intel. And altogether, there is a four pieces of a bombshell intel that we obtained from the brave whistleblowers from within the Chinese Communist Party on December 31st, 2023. So the world we know may change faster than we expected. But I think people deserve to know what's going on in the other parts of the world, particularly in Taiwan Strait, in Japan, in North Korea, and in Iran. The most like, you know, most important is the, 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 the head of the snake, um, the CCP, which is uh, the big brother of the axis of evil. And what's their plan in terms of how they're going to take over the world for the next, uh, maybe the next two weeks? Because according to our intel that the Xi Jinping, basically the dictator Xi, uh, just ordered standby of his army, the people's, although the name is People's Liberation Army, but this is a Xi's army. It's a dictator's army. It never served one day uh, to the Chinese people. So they have been ordered standby and to ready to move on Taiwan at any time, because we all know that the Taiwan election is uh, scheduled on January 13th, which is less than two weeks away. And our intel specifically told us that she has already dispatched his representatives to go to Taiwan to work for two opposition parties who are the Kuomintang Party candidates and also the other one is Taiwan's People's Party candidates to basically to, uh, to ask them to work together, go against the very promising um, uh, candidates from the DPP, which is a Democratic Progressive Party incumbent. Uh, and he is the most promising candidates that most likely will be voted by the people as the next president of Taiwan. But she has already made a plan to basically bring a political coup against him Um creating alliance between the other two parties, which completely infiltrated by the Chinese Communist Party. So that has already been 
uh, working in progress. So we're praying. So that's why by uh, revealing this information, we're hoping that the 23 million Taiwanese people are basically keep their um, eyes wide open and put on alert in terms of what's going on in their country. And the second piece of information um, is we wanted to let people know that the Xi Jinping's army has been in drill and has been in preparing, launching what we called spy balloon war against Taiwan. So the um, so in Guizhou, oh, yeah, right. yeah, in Guizhou province and in Xinjiang, they have been preparing, according to our intel, tens of thousands balloons like those ones you've seen um, that flew over continent America in February this year, okay? And possibly there are variations of balloons. So they have been deploying them and practice them, and they are for reconnaissance, for attack, or even for carrying weapons like time bombs. And this might be released in the next little while in their you know, move against Taiwan. And then the other two pieces are truly, I think it's Bang Xiao, it's contrary to um, the the, so, uh, the mainstream media reporting on those two events. We already know that um, Iran government has, according to the, the mainstream media report, that Iran has basically jacked up their production on uranium, close to military grade uranium, reaching mm -hmm. a purity of 60%. But according to our internal uh, intel, exclusive intel from the CCP and the members who are supporters of the new federal state of China, they have they told us that uh, these are not Uranian's production. These are the Uranian uh, directly gifted to Iran by the Chinese Communist Party. Wow. So what the mainstream reported are actually wow. really false. Okay, so because um, I've I've listened to pretty much every news station, they're talking about oh uh, the, the increase of the production, yeah. they undo you know uh, the the previous um, uh, reduction, and then they produce the uh, nine kilograms uh, rising from three kilogram. That that's completely false. This is a directly given to Iran Iranian government by the Chinese Communist Party. But the other piece of information also, um, we wanted to debunk uh, the uh, misinformation out there, which a lot of mainstream report uh, reported this events, which is North Korea. North Korea in the last two weeks just launched um, a number of um, ICBM in, uh, testing, right? So Internet okay. Continent Ballistical Missile. So according to our exclusive intel, these are not fired by North Korea. These missiles are fired by the Chinese Communist Party's military from undersea submarine. <laughs> so the missiles provided by the CCP and launched by the CCP. Okay, so, oh. so these are the truthful information we want the world to know. And if you connect the dots together, um, I think the last time, it, it, maybe it was me or maybe it was my uh, colleagues, maybe Roy, I, I, I don't know. It, I, I don't know whether they've talked about the, um, the war plans, right? The, the deployment that the okay. CCP has made in Middle East, um, whether or not. But if you're connecting all the dots together, it is quite clear what dictator she wants for the people of the world in 2024. I think um, if I may share two years ago, actually in one of the live streaming, Miles Gore did, um, and this is quite scary because he talked about a war plan that the CCP had at that time. So in that live streaming, he said, the CCP has a long plan for starting the World War III, and this is their plan. So their plan is they will have Iran to contain uh, the entire Gulf of Aden region and the Middle East, and also looking after the Strait of Hormuz, okay, which majority of one, over one third of the world oil is basically trans, uh, 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 gonna passing that Strait of Hormuz, which is very narrow strait of uh, sea uh, 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 freight. So, so Iran is for sure gonna look after that region. And then the CCP would, um, ask North Korea to basically contain the South Korea or even Japan. Why the CCP taking on the United States with Russia were joining them against the U.S. together. But if 
He said, if European um, nations decided to fall in uh, joining the U.S. as ally, then Russia will be, uh, you know, uh, head straight to European. So this is their um, war plan, and they're preparing for using the nuclear um, weapons. So Miles School mentioned the United States has two choices. One is maintaining the current world order, and the second one is reshuffle the world order. And he said, if Americans choose to reshuffle the world order, then many people will die, and we will see um, uh, we will see the world uh, World War Three like no uh, like an, an, an unprecedented warfare that created no man's land for. Real quick. Hundred years, thousand years, or tens of thousand years. So that's the scary part. Real quick, I saw I saw some information last night. I thought it all, I, I thought it was already done, but Saudi Arabia joined BRICS over the weekend. Here we go. So Saudi Miles School mentioned the biggest the biggest military balloon launch site in the world. Guess which country is Saudi. Okay, so Saudi has been um, working, has been working with the CCP for a while. Okay, if you look at um, uh, look at uh, if I can recall all those whistleblowing revelations in the past two years mentioned by Miles Gore in terms of military uh, um, uh, cooperations, in terms of technology, and in terms of uh, um, natural resources, in terms of gas and energy cooperations and contracts, uh, Saudi is definitely uh, one of the countries I think um, the world needs to pay attention to. But we hoping as a traditional partner of the United States, Saudi will basically. Uh, pick a sides quickly uh, because I forgot to mention um, mm -hmm. um, when when the war plan when Miles were talking about the geopolitics and potential war plan and he mentioned about India but he said Pakistan needs to pick a sides as well because Pakistan is a nation that has a nuclear weapon so India dare not to move because Pakistan if they choose to be with to be joining uh, with the CCP then um, you know Indian is also contained so this is this is uh, two years ago he has already analyzed all what could happen but we are seeing it happening right now because what Japan on the new year first day they had earthquake 7.6 uh, degree of earthquake earthquake although i don't want to start a conspiracy i don't want to speculating without any confirmation i think japanese government needs to do better um you know um detection on that but i do want to share one thing that miles school shared with us in previous in his previous live streaming in terms of talking about the capacity um of the ccp by creating earthquake like attack yep. so he told us um about a year wow. and a half ago he he mentioned about uh, the CCP has already had elaborated plan to cause a um, uh, 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 underground plates. They study the underground plates of the Taiwan. Yes, uh, tectonic plates, and they have already have plans and technology to using submarine, releasing bombs, creating earthquake-like conditions. And this is something they have been planning on. If they have to do it, they. When the time comes, they might would resort to that when it comes to Taiwan. So this is what he shared with us uh, a year and a half ago. So when it comes to Japan, they already moved it. And guess what? The next day on Tuesday, Japan's airport, there is an airplane um, a crash. You know, all those things, if you link together, you're wondering what's going on. Okay. And plus the New York Queens a car crash that took five people's life away. So the world, we're, as we turn into 2024, it's not going to be a prosperity and peaceful year just because the CCP are handing to the last breath and they are just determined to basically um, kill more, you know, as they exiting the world stage, as communism will be defeated by we, the people, they are determined to bring uh, more lives with them as they go down to hell. You know, Ava, I don't know where to start. That was a lot of information. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna, but I'll give but I'll give it a shot. Hi, girl. Uh, the, the, the biggest thing that came out of that to me uh, was was your mention, the intelligence that Iran, Iran was gifted that uranium or plutonium. A, a, and also the fact that North Korea has been widely reported, as you said, launching test ICBMs. And if China really did that, yeah. I mean, th these are things that, and I understand the NFSC doesn't go politics, but I have to on this issue. 
for myself. I look at if, if you've got the U.S. media doing the bidding of either the CCP or the CIA, whoever is feeding them to tell you that Iran is going forward with their program and North Korea is going forward with theirs, and it's really the CCP, it makes you look at the, at the whole Biden administration differently. And Senator Bobby Corker with the Iran deal. I mean, do these people know? Are they are they in the in the loop here? It makes you wonder. I'll tell you, it really does. And, and um, you take that and you look at our current political situation with our President Trump being taken off of ballots. Go back to Taiwan, and didn't they have an additional political party a couple of years ago that got outlawed? So, um, Hutch, I, I think you're very um, intuitive. I, I think. Um, what you've just said is not far-fetched, but CCP is the root cause of all disasters, as we have seen. They have been trying, not just in Taiwan, they have been mingling with elections in many countries. You know, there's two things I want to mention to uh, to you and your audiences. Uh, you know, on December 18th, why, you know, North Korea and so-called reporting is North Korea is launching the ICBM, which, you know, according to our intel, is CCP is launching from the submarine. Um, the senior North Korean official was meeting the foreign minister Wang Yi in Beijing. Okay. So this is their stance. This how they emboldened, you know, to, to basically uh, in a way of, of, of declaring war, uh, in a subtle way of declaring war against the West. And, 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 and if you're looking at the statement that that the United States government issued just two days prior to December 18th, which I believe um, uh, media reporter Whiteley is your um, your government has been sending verbal threats. OK, they say if you dare to move on to United States and our ally using nuclear weapons, then that's the end of your Kim Jong Un's North Korea regime. But I think there's a lot of verbal exchange or, you know, diplomatic pressure has been exerted, you know, uh, publicly. But um, but what U.S. needs to do is a swift and decisive decision and action, because if you don't, as Miles Gore mentioned, it depending on uh, whether the U.S. wanted to reshuffle or to maintain the current order. If they decided to wait and still, you know, sending verbal condolence after verbal condolence, but not take any actions, like you know war. what? Yes, yeah. World War II, what would what, what happen again? Look at uh, Hitler. You know, um, he was emboldened by French um, and British appeasement policy. And that is why 50 million people died. And this is the history, you know, at the turning point that I, I hope I'm hoping there's a lot of patriotic Americans are working behind this thing nonstop. OK, nonstop. Even this is a holiday seasons. I'm sure there's a lot of patriotic Americans are working behind the scenes to avert, you know, to sending alarm to work um, and to fight for freedom and liberty. I have to believe that because I think at the end of the day, I think God uh, will 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 win. And that's what I so deeply believed and have my faith in it by by working with americans the new federal state of china can absolutely bring you the most accurate intel from within the ccp that you can rely on as we have provided by our history historical track of records in terms of uh, the accuracy of our intel and the courageous the level of courageousness that we see um you know demonstrated by the followers of this movement so we're hoping by working together we will be able to save humanity and decrease the casualties that that might happen um, in this inevitable war that Xi Jinping wants to, you know, drag the whole world into. You know, it's an important point that you make there, Ava, is we, we frame it like World War II, where it was, you know, Germany, Italy, and Japan that were taking on the rest of the free world. But the big bad guy was Germany, and they were the driving force. And now as you look at Russia and the war in Ukraine, you look at what's going on in Israel, and you look at what many Americans don't realize is that China is the China is Germany in that equation. Mm -hmm. And people think it's Russia or or the, the Arab community or whatnot. And China is the one driving this. And this Taiwan thing, you had mentioned it, but they're flying the Chinese balloons 
over Taiwan and their elections are in two weeks. And so if the Chinese Communist Party isn't able to influence and get CCP favored candidates to win their Mm -hmm. elections, this could start really quick, couldn't it? Absolutely. That's why I tell say in the next two weeks, uh, there might be moves, you know, anytime, actually anytime at this moment, the CCP might have a surprise strike. We don't know. So so we're very, very closely monitoring the situation. But as you know, on December 31st, after we exposed, reviewed the intel about the spy balloon preparation of the PLA, you know what? On January 1st and January 2nd, the Taiwan um, did spot spy balloon, two of them, yeah. right? Sure. One of them, yeah, flew directly over their, their space above their uh, uh, territorial. So this is happening. And, and, and this is a way of CCP taking over a, a soft of a nation is um, they have their pop proxies. I mean, the biggest enemy, as we always say, is not non-Taiwanese. The biggest enemy to Taiwan people are those Taiwanese sellouts. No yeah. different than the American sellouts. Your biggest enemy. In Congress, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. it's not yeah. coming from afar. It's actually within your country. These people identify their interest with the CCP. These are global lists. These are communist intern, communist international. They have been hunting around the world for nearly two centuries. Because a lot of people leaving me a message, one of the person, because when I'm saying, you know, the CCP is the root cause of of all disasters, the people say, you're wrong. You know, he said, you know, uh, the assassination of uh, uh, Robert Kennedy, it didn't uh, happen prior to the CCP. You know, so many evil things happen prior to the CCP. Yet I said, yes, you are not completely wrong. The spectrum of communism has been haunting the world for two centuries, but they aced it. In Chinese Communist Party, in the last 100 years, you know, every time they kill civilians, they kill mass genocide, they upgrade themselves. Okay, it's just like you play a killing game, a video game, something, you become a larger monster. So now we're dealing with the biggest monster of them all, okay, with the second largest world economy and the largest military in the world are ready to flush uh, um, its muscle and has been funding all those terrorists and criminal group around the world. So we're talking about the Chinese Communist Party. So if we wanted to return a peace and prosperity ever again, we need to take the CCP down right away before they actually damage our planet Earth because they're planning to use nuclear weapons like with crazy Xi, uh, with crazy Iran, Iranian you know, extreme uh, terrorists. So this is what they're going to do. They're going to destroy us. So and the, the place that we call home, uh, which is a planet Earth. So that's why we're hoping by sharing the truth for information and by sharing the intel uh, with, you know, Americans and with the free world, then the good will unite and take decisive actions. You know, um, but, um, before I let you go, I also was keeping track of some of the things that um, Xi was saying um, over the holiday uh, he is talking about how I, that the economy is uh, w- will be back on track. Uh, that um, that uh, he was talking about uh, some other things too to to the people of China. Uh, but we all know the economy isn't where he is saying that it is. So um, you want to give our audience a quick idea about. Uh, um, the lies that he's pushing to the Chinese people? Yeah, absolutely. Um, You have to remember, economy is going to collapse. Once CCP moves on Taiwan, that's where basically it starts. And then it's not just China, it's the world. And um, it's going to be probably the darkest moment before we embracing the light. So uh, be prepared, embraced, I mean, she is completely a, a liar. She can, she can, she can only, he can only lie through this. Because if you look what she did, she just pointed a new um, defense minister. Okay. And this defense minister came from Navy and never before, you know, uh, the, the Chinese Communist Party appointed a officer from Navy. And it's always from the land forces or a rocket forces, the sky. 
you know, for air forces. And also he purged four more um, military um, enterprises. These are the military weaponry manufacturers off the uh, political advisory body. So another round of purge is just to silence everybody to tell you the truth. So you will not hear any truth from she's mouse or from his uh, media outlets, the propaganda outlets mouse. So please follow this show and please give us a follow on NFSC. That's where you can find life-saving intels and everything that would save agonies. Ava, I want to thank you for this. Um, I'm going to try to get out uh, this these um, this clip as fast as I can right after the show. But um, I want to thank you for being bold as you are and standing up against those that are trying to muzzle you and you know trying to trying to make you walk back information that you're trying to wake up people to, because the only way for people to get uh, in the right frame of mind is they have to hear mm-hmm. the information. They can't, I mean, bec- the lies aren't going to do it. The lie, you know, this rosy peachy utopia that people b- believe that they want to hear. Oh, no, 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 no. You have got to be watching the signs and you broke a whole lot of stuff today. So, yeah, yeah. um, um crazy. yeah, I mean, right. Again, I think I speak for all three of us. Our minds are going around like this right now because of everything that you've said. We we really got to put everything in, in, into perspective. But uh, um, I'm going to talk to you after the show to see um, uh, to, to see if we can get you back on as soon as possible. But thank you for uh, Happy New Year. Thank you. Happy New Year. Yeah. Happy thank New Year to you all. Thank you so much for having us. Thank Bye-bye. you. Thank you. Bye-bye. That's our girl. She, she must be all up, man. <laughs> I got something right, right in front of the screen here. You know, you got to remember what she said. She said that China launched the ICBMs out of North Korea. My whole line of questioning was Dude. about North Korea. <laughs> it's 